Welcome to Department of College and Technical Education, Department of Civil Engineering. Subject is Construction Materials, Unit 4 and Session 5. And this session is about gypsum and its products. Let us see what is gypsum. Gypsum is a lightweight material which is formed as a result of evaporating seawater in massive prehistoric basin. It is a non-hydraulic binder occurring naturally as a soft crystalline rock or sand. The hardness of gypsum is about 2, therefore it is very soft and it can be scratched by a fingernail. Pure gypsum is a white translucent crystalline mineral. Coming to the chemical composition of gypsum, it is calcium sulfate dihydrate, CaSO4 to H2O. CaSO4 is calcium sulfate, H2O is water. So gypsum contains 79.1% of calcium sulfate and 20.9% of water. There are two commercial varieties of crude gypsum, rock gypsum and gypsum or gypsite, which is used in the manufacture of gypsum binding material. As a binding material, gypsum quickly sets and hardens. Its initial setting time is 4 to 6 minutes and final setting time is about 30 minutes. Coming to the properties of gypsum, it has relatively small bulk density, it is incombustible, it has good sound absorbing capacity, it is good fire resistant, rapid drying and hardening with negligible shrinkage, it provides superior surface finish, it is resistant to insects and rodents, low energy input is enough to produce gypsum plaster, it is free of odor. As gypsum is normally white in color, gypsum products of any desirable decorative property can be produced. The major shortcoming of gypsum is its poor strength in wet state and high creep under load. Gypsum based, so gypsum based items should be used only in dry state and in premises where the relative air humidity is not more than 60%. Gypsum is mainly used in the manufacture of cement to increase the setting time of cement. It is also used to prepare plaster of Paris, gypsum boards and is also used as filler in rubber, paint and paper industries. Coming to gypsum products. First one is gypsum plaster. When finely ground gypsum is heated at a temperature of 160 degree to 170 degree, it loses about 14.7% of water content in the form of steam. The resulting product obtained is plaster of Paris or POP. The chemical composition is CaSO4 0.5 H2O that is calcium sulfate hemihydrate. When dry POP is mixed with water, it hardens. This material can be applied over bricks, blocks or concrete to form a smooth surface called gypsum plaster. Gypsum plaster gains one half of one month strength in a day. Gypsum plaster has good insulation pro properties. It is fire resistant and impact resistant. It saves time during construction as it hardens rapidly and has superior finish. Coming to the advantages of gypsum plaster, Ease of application. Gypsum plaster can be applied directly over brick or block without separate finishing. It is easy to apply gypsum plaster. No shrinkage cracks. Compared to cement, gypsum when it reacts with water produces less heat. Therefore, there are few shrinkage cracks in gypsum plaster. Quick setting time. It sets quickly within 25 to 30 minutes. Hence, painting can be carried out 72 hours after application of gypsum plaster. No curing time required. It does not require curing, so it saves water and time during construction. Fire resistant. G gypsum plaster is high resistant to fire, low thermal conductivity. This property saves electrical cost the cost of heating and cooling rooms in a building. Gypsum plaster has high strength. After drying, it is durable. 
and it is light in weight. Thus, it reduces the dead load on the structure. Gypsum plaster can be easily applied to decorative purposes and it can be molded into different shapes. Uses of gypsum plaster. As plaster, it can be used, uh, used for plastering walls and ceilings. As heat insulating material, it can be used to protect wood or metal columns and beams. Wood or metal columns and beams from high temperature. It is used in artwork. It is used in pottery, dentistry and for shaping fractured bones. Coming to second product that is gypsum boards. Gypsum board is also known as plaster board, drywall or wall board. It is a product made of thin layers of cardboard together with plaster and it is used for lining walls and ceiling of buildings. These boards can be strengthened by using fibers in it. The generally used fibers are sisal and coconut fibers. Gypsum boards are very light in weight and have high fire resisting properties. Gypsum panel products are used for interior dry construction such as ceiling, walling and flooring. The main advantage is their, their quick dry installation. They also offer excellent thermal and acoustic insulation as well as fire resistance. In market, we can also see uh, gypsum boards which are available in the market with one exterior surface covered with aluminium and another surface covered with heat reflecting type of foil. So, no extra decoration can, is required. Gypsum boards available vary in thickness from 9.5 mm to 12.5 mm. It is available in widths 400. 600, 800, 900, 1200 mm. In lengths, 1200 mm, 1500 mm, 1800 mm and in increments of 100 mm that is 1900, 2000 up to 3600 mm. In this figure we can see the gypsum boards. In this figure we can see where gypsum board is used for walling. That is the interior partition wall. Third is non-load bearing gypsum partition blocks. These blocks can be solid or hollow, rectangular with straight and square edges and two surfaces. We can see in this figure, this is hollow block and this is solid block. The common size of block is 390 mm by 190 mm by 188 mm. These blocks are commonly used in private houses and public buildings as indoor walls. Their main advantage is their quick dry installation. They also offer excellent thermal and acoustic insulation as well as they are fire resistant. Coming to the fourth product that is pyrocell. When water is added to finally ground gypsum powder, gas is liberated and the mixture is expanded three to four times its volume it hardens after some time. This mixture is known as pyrocell, which is light in weight, which is cellular and fire resistant. It is normally used for acoustical and insulating purposes in buildings. The other gypsum products. Decorative elements. Gypsum is used uh, for decorative panels, which are produced with high strength building gypsum and polymer modified gypsum. They are used for interior decoration. In this figure we can see where it is used for the decorative element is used for ceiling. Second product is gypsum adhesives. Gypsum adhesive mortars are mainly used to bond gypsum blocks together. Gypsum based ceramic tile adhesives are also available. Gypsum is also used as retarder to retard setting time of admixtures of cement. Gypsum is also used in glass manufacturing and also patching the road surface. Now coming to the multiple choice question. The chemical composition of gypsum is CaSO4 to H2O, 
CaSO4 H2O, CaSO4 3H2O and CaSO4 4H2O. Gypsum is calcium sulfate dihydrate which means CaSO4 2H2O. Therefore, the answer is Ca, CaSO4 2H2O. Coming to second question. Gypsum is used in the manufacture of cement because it increases the setting time of cement, it decreases the setting time of cement. Gypsum is used in the manufacture of cement because it increases the setting time of cement. Therefore, the answer is A. It increases the setting time of cement. Coming to the third question. The chemical composition of pl plaster of Paris is CaSO4 2H2O, CaSO4 0.5H2O, CaSO4 3H2O, CaSO4 4H2O. And the answer is B. CaSO4 0.5H2O, calcium sulfate hemihydrate. The next question is, plaster of Paris obtained by calcining bauxite, gypsum, concar, limestone. Plaster of Paris is obtained by calcining gypsum. Therefore, the answer is B, gypsum. These are the references. This is our team. I would like to thank the team and thank you.